We're recording right now. Yeah. All right, so last night was New Year's night. New Year's 2016. Year. We went out and hung out with his wife's, or his ear family. Yeah. Yeah, hung out with the cousins. Decided had to some fun, drank a few beers. Got drunk. I got shit-faced. <laughs> Decided that we were gonna put together a YouTube channel this year. Do gun stuff, firearms. I think it's the perfect time, first of the year. Start something new. It's gonna be awesome. Do some reviews of equipment, gear, ammo. Kind of our take on you know defense and guns. We really don't have a direction we're trying to go with it. We're just gonna kind of start making videos and see where it takes us. So. Feeling everything out and see where it goes. Been really excited about it. Been wanting to do it for a while. Yeah, my name's Bailey. I'm Drew. We've been best friends for a long ass time. Kindergarten. So we're naming the channel, I guess, Brothers Patriot. Uh, I guess that's that. Yeah. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be something else, man. I'm excited. Very excited. New year. New life, new. Got a baby on the way. I got a nephew on the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. He's gonna be shooting guns by the time he's like three. Yeah. We're gonna start him young. We'll start him on the Barrett 50 cal. See how I can handle that. Yeah. Move him up to the 22. <laughs> we just got out here to the range. Not really. The range is up the road, but there's like 10 people there. So we came down here, this is a little pistol range. That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today, just shooting our pistols. I got a Glock 27 that I run. Got the grip stipple, I did that. and It's pretty much stock. I got a extended you know, pinky for the uh, mag, as well as a, uh, what is a stainless steel guide rod to kinda keeps the barrel down a little bit for me as well as smoothens out the action I feel like a little bit so yeah I love this gun all right in second we got the good old Beretta 92 FS he's been wanting one his whole life and he I've just been got looking it. at these guns for a long time got a great deal on this used one made in Italy hasn't been shot that much at all I'm liking it smooth as hell Boondock Saints. I love it. Been wanting these, one of these forever since we had the Airsoft Blowbacks. That's how long we've been wanting one of these. Finally got it. Had to spend the money on it. I'll probably get a smaller one for the concealed. But right now, I just love this gun. I got big hands. It fits my hand well. And I'm also riding the uh, Serpa Blackhawk. Got to jump. Clip in <laughs> with, my, with my leg holster. We'll get a good review of that later. And I've got a inside the waistband Kydex uh, holster. All right, so we're about to shoot the guns. I'm using uh, some factory Remington kind of practice loads. Good for nothing but plinking. So here we go. All right, Beretta 92FS. Once again, just some practice loads. Let's see what we can do with them. Through the top. Ears and eyes on. A little bit of gear, running the uh, mechanics gloves. I've had these forever. Times two. Cut the. Blow the fingers out of them left and right. There you go, fat hand. <laughs> uh, I cut the uh, trigger finger and the thumb for when I'm operating my uh, AK and the AR I just am building right now. It kind of makes it easier to manipulate the weapon and uh, do what you need to do in more meticulous detail. So here we go again. I'm gonna rack it up, throw it in the holster, see if I can pull up and hit the target. 
Lot 27, mother. Getting rained on by cases over here. Hot lid. <laughs> All right, 92 once more, nine mil. Let's see. In the chamber, safety on. <sighs> Hard to manipulate. That's what we practice for. Safety on. Practice pull, bring up and shoot twice. That double action is that first one, right? Mm -hmm. That's tough. Gotta be used to it. Mm. Gotta get your hand on it right. Save a few. Right, I'm going back to the clock. So, in this last mag, then I'm out. Got a little treat for y'all after this, though. A little. World War II relic. <laughs> Lock it up. No safety on the Glock. Uh, just keep that finger off. You got the, of course, built-in uh, safety on the trigger. Kind of a method. It's not really much of a safety. If you get that finger over, it's going to fire. But Make sure your finger's always off that trigger. Y'all know that. Make sure you're always when you're when you're coming from the uh, concealed position. You want to make sure you're clearing that first layer of clothing with your other hand, non-shooting hand, and coming up because you get tangled in the clothing and you're fumbling around. You don't have time to do that. Here we go again. All over it. <laughs> All right, four rounds left, nine mil, 92 FF. Five rounds, check your gun. Yeah, baby, that feels good. Got the relic I was talking about. You know what I'm shooting when you look at that and tell what I'm shooting? Oh, World War II Russian. Mazin the Gaunt, full length. I want to believe this was shot by the man that was in the Enemy at the Gates movie. <laughs> Gotta be. Um, awesome gun. Old hex head. I re uh, restored this thing. To make it look like it is. How old was I when I did that, you think? 17, 16? About 18, something 18. like that. Came in and put stain on it and shellacked it, brought it back to life. So we're gonna shoot that target down range with it. Howitzer. The Let's howitzer. Well, I guess these don't have any particular way. Nope. Slide her in. Not the easiest thing to do. I guess some oil. Technology from the 30s and 40s, so here we go. Don't really know how old the Mazin is, but uh, pretty old technology, good, reliable, solid, made in the air of real steel. We're going to see if that steel down there can handle this bullet. I'm going to bet it can't. We'll see what happens. We got the, uh, we went to uh, Atwoods and we got the spinner target. It's rated for the 9 mils and uh, above the, the one step above 22. So we'll see how she fares. God, this thing weighs 100 pounds. Ready? Ready. Old bolt gun. Barely see it down there.
Yeah, I'll leave this thing hard to manipulate. Oh, I almost need something to rest on. Yeah. Tagged it. Go prone. <laughs> He's hard to hit. He's all sight. Plus that target kind of blends in. I'm not not very good at shooting this thing. I'm not going to lie to you. No practice. All uh -huh. right, like we said, we were trying the uh, spinner target with the 7.62 by 54 Mazen Nagant. Um, well, I'll let you see for yourself. Put two nice little holes in my target. Um, so definitely not rated for that big of a bullet. The nines are just dimpling it up real good. But uh, as you can see, the 7.62's got a little something else for it. I guess I owe you uh, about 40 bucks. <laughs> we'll see how she plays out. All right, seeing the damage we did to my target and uh, we were just kind of looking around and now, you know what? We've decided there's too many damn rocks in Arkansas, and we're gonna go rock hunting. We're gonna bust them up a little bit. I wouldn't try this at home. We got, uh, we're gonna stand behind the truck here so no blowback comes back, and we're gonna blow this shit to pieces. And I've got my $500, $400 iPhone 6 amidst the war zone, so if I catch shrapnel, it's coming out of the budget, which is zero. <laughs> My phone's okay. Some of it came back here. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. There's some of it. On the <laughs> <laughs> FPS rush is good. Last round. Finish off that third rock. All right, welcome to the Brothers Patriot. We're starting this new channel. You'll hear, you're gonna hear a lot about us. We're gonna uh, first gonna blow the socks off the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, everybody's got a got a YouTube gun channel. Everybody and their mom has one. So uh, we're gonna try to do a little something different. Do a couple reviews on some stuff. Not all in the woods shooting and all that, but we will get there. Yeah, man. So. Uh, today, first off, let me start by saying we've got a lot, a lot more guns we're gonna review. Um, uh, I've got, you know, sixteen hundred dollar AK arsenal that I've built, and uh, just finished a, a AR fifteen SPR build, which is running me around. It's gonna be around twenty two, twenty three hundred by the time I'm done with it, and all the parts should be in next week. So. Be looking for more stuff. Uh, I know these guns we shot today are kind of archaic compared to what a lot of y'all want to be seeing and looking at. Um, so just bear with us. But we thought we'd start with some of our favorite guns, and definitely my favorite, my favorite era and time was that World War II. Uh, I'm just infatuated with it. I've seen every movie, and <laughs> and we both liked them so much we had to have one. Yeah. So we... this here would have been his first one that he bought, and then sold to me. We did a little sexy refinish on it. Now it's all sanded silver. it nice and flat. Looks real dark, earthy. Looks like it's been well used. Dirty blonde. I like, I like to thought. think. I like to think they were both used to kill some uh, Nazis. Kill some Nazis in the war. And this will be the second one, and you can probably tell. It's the one we this shot today. This one's quite a bit longer. This one is the full uh, rifleman, I guess you'd call. This is um, the carbon length, and this, this is the full length. Carbon infantry type, and that one would have been like a, uh, I guess a sniper type. Um, the round we're shooting here, which I'm sure you might already know, that there is the 7.62 by 
a 54 R. Um, similar caliber to the AK 47s, a lot more powder behind it. If I'm not mistaken, this is an M92. Is that right? I believe. You have to look. Yeah. M91, M92, something like we'll that. We'll look that up and put it on the screen there for you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I got that. Got a bunch of surplus rounds coming in this can from uh, a long time ago. Got the little burlap string on it. So I come all over it. Coming about, uh, Greasy. I don't know, what was it, 500 rounds there? Yeah. 500 oh, rounds in this old tin. Um, we got it over there. We should run it in. But uh, yeah, got the old style military slings on them still. Um, they're really, I mean, they're some heavy guns, um, but that's what you can expect from guns from that type of era. I mean, you had to be um, be lugging that thing around the battlefield. Just yeah. Just pop our arms. These ones, if you'll see, um, I think they, the first game I saw, man, was probably Call of Duty. Call of Duty 2. First 360 game come out. Um, we love video games. Mention that. we <laughs> that's video also, games. yeah, that's, that's kind of where our uh, love for guns began. That and hunting. That, yep, yeah, and hunting. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna start this up. I mean, I guess we can tell you a little about each, each gun. We'll try to have something new for you all, every now and then. Um, do a couple of gear reviews, gun reviews, um, really anything we like and think you'll like. And this, this channel will, will develop as time goes on. Like I said, we kind of decided last night we wanted to do this. We'll have, you know, a different, probably a different room at some point and this is kind of just scratch, but, uh, yeah. Kind of just feeling it out, seeing what we can do and, uh, try to give a good little channel that, uh, a bunch of people will like. Um, but yeah, these are all the ones that we went out and shot today. We'll, we'll throw in some footage of that. Um, we've got my Beretta here. That's the uh, 92FS, the Italian um, gun. I like it a lot. Um, feels really good in my hand. Like you'll hear everybody say, it's a really big gun for a 9. If you're a bigger guy, you got bigger hands, this thing feels right at home in your hand. Um, things about it, it's got the... Uh, got the double action single action that would mean that it's your first gun. shot always check this make see we're make sure we're clear the first shot if you, you're loaded and coming off safety will be your double action that will be on the trigger pull the hammer will cock itself say you throw in your new mag and you rack one in the chamber and you're still on fire that makes it a single action trigger and the hammer's already back shorter trigger pull nice crisp clean Smooth gun. I really like it. Takes down really easy. I mean, you push a pin, take it out, bang, it's apart. Everything's apart in a matter of seconds. I mean, easy to clean. They've been using them for a long time. Um, well used and well documented. It's, it's just a good all around gun. I've been using these since, uh, since our airsoft days. We had these 92s and um, Man, I just love the way they felt ever since then, and I had to have him one. Picked this one up for about uh, 450 bucks, and I thought it was a hell of a deal. Um, hardly looks like it's been fired at all. This is, I mean, it's really brand new. It's a $600 gun, so. Uh, as far as, like, didn't finish yet, I mean, it looks like it I was, came out of the package. I was really excited when I got this gun. I, I couldn't wait. Um, and I got me a Glock 27, as all able-bodied Americans should. It's just a perfect concealed pistol, in my opinion. It's it's a little chubby, as you can see. I'm six foot four. I got a massive hand, so it, man, it's it's a little gun in my hand. Double stack. Boarding. Double stack mag. It's gonna hold. Uh, this one holds nine. Actually, you know what? This one holds ten because I put the extension on that mag. But shooting some uh, hydro shocks out of it. Bad little gun. I've stippled the grip on it, so you can kind of get a better feel for it. It's almost like sandpaper. And it really just sticks to your hand that way. But I mean, you're talking a subcompact pistol. You got a 40 caliber round in here. It's just it's heavy. It, it just it's got stopping power. It's easily concealed. Um, easy to break down. Like his is pretty easy. Mine's kind of difficult in the sense that you have to have two hands and kind of get in a weird angle. You definitely have to work it a little bit. But it comes but... off. Like I said earlier, I've got this this heavier steel guide rod going on yeah standard plastic still in the uh, 92 fs here 
standard plastic guide rod. Um, right here you got the lower polymer, so it's going to save a lot of weight for that big fat frame. Uh, overall, this will probably be the only pistol I'll carry for a while unless one of y'all want to send me like a SIG P226 or something. I wouldn't mind shooting that a little bit. But yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's the, that's our sidearms for uh, for the day, and you'll see some videos of us shooting these. We've got like a nice little spinner target we've been working with. Cheap, I mean, fairly cheap, forty dollars for. Uh, it's the second level up. The first level is just for like twenty twos, little small stuff. Yeah, don't shoot it with a seven point six two by five. But by we also one. did. Uh, we shot it today and was testing how much it would hold up, and I mean, it's a good quarter inch plate, and that's the. Uh, that's the 762 and the plate. We'll give you a good look at that. You show it in the video. Probably uh, downstairs. I'm scared of all of that. Oh, well, we can edit that shit, huh? Oh well. Knocked a hole in her though. Okay. Yeah, put some holes through that. Um, we'll we'll get you a picture of that later. I know we got some footage today of it. Um, also, another thing, um, I guess we can go in the holsters now that we have for our sidearms. Um, right here, I've got the uh, drop leg Blackhawk platform. Um, you'll see a lot of uh, police carrying these. Um, if they're usually like the SWAT type of guys, you know, you see some of, you see some of them with the standard uh, standard duty belt, and uh, you like to see any of the guys with the SWAT, they'll be wearing one of these. This uh, Serpa Blackhawk, it's really nice. I really like it. Locks in there really nice. It's got, it's got your button for release right here. And you always want to keep your finger flat there and comes right out. You can run with this thing. You can dive with this thing, rolls, whatever you want to do. And it's going to stay there. Um, it also has a couple extra holes. Like it's a modular platform. If you can see right by my finger here, you can put extra mag wells and everything on there. I really like it, the way it feels. Definitely not a concealed type of uh, holster. This is like a shit hit the fan type of deal. And I'm going to load this hammer. up. You can wear one of your pants. And, uh, but yeah, that's my sidearm holster. Uh, feels really nice. It actually comes, if you just get the belt loops on your belt, it comes on and off super fast. You'd think looking at how big it is and how many straps that it's kind of uh, clumsy and big, but honestly it slips on and off. and no more than 30 seconds if you've got your belt loops already on. I really like it. It's a great you know, holster. Um, I just got this one. This is a, uh, yeah, they're Blackhawk and uh, they sell them at, uh, hell, I found mine at Bass Pro. I wouldn't call them and ask them because it took me forever and uh, they said they didn't carry it, didn't carry it. I walked in, walked straight to it and it's sitting on the wall. So, uh, but you will have to buy it in two separate pieces. You can buy for your gun specific, you buy this plastic right here, and um, that is gun specific, and then you just bolt it to your modular platform, your drop leg. So you will have to buy this. This one was about $36, and then the whole drop leg platform was about $44. You kind kind of pricey, it. but uh, it is, yeah, it's the Blackhawk. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's called the Serpa. Blackhawk makes a lot of holsters. This is the hard plastic. They call this one the Serpa. Um, it's, I believe the level two, the level threes are, uh, a little bit more tactical SWAT style, um, on those, but I really like it. Holds the gun well. It feels great on my arm. You don't have to pull way up and cock your shoulder up when you're trying to pull a gun out. And especially with the M9, it's a big gun. It is the nine millimeter and, uh, it's just a, it's a full size gun. I mean, it's, it's probably not a concealed carry type of gun, but I mean, you could, if you want, um, a lot of open carry states, hell, you can carry that Blackhawk on your leg there. So, uh, I mean, it's a good all around gun. And then now I think he's got a concealed yeah, I got holster to show you. Inside the waistband Kydex, um, it's super solid, man. It's, and it's molded for this exact gun. I'm not sure what brand this is. There's kids and dudes making them all over the place, um, molded to your Lots to your of farm. different variants. Lots of I different mean, there's probably brands. 30 different, 40 different brands at least. That and make about the same type of deal. It's the same deal. So you can go out and spend 140, 150 
bucks up on a custom, you know, inside color, outside custom color, put prints on them. And you know, you're, you're, you're paying for a product in this sense that a lot of people are making the exact same thing. Um, and it depends on, you know, if a brand happens to develop and gains a name, we'll be paying more. But when it comes to a Kydex holster, in my opinion, you just, you buy what the Kydex holster for your particular firearm, it's going to work. Uh, there might be a few duds out there company-wise, but as far as that goes, yeah, it's a solid holster. And I like the Kydex material because it's thin. It does, it's not going to bulk up in your pants. It's slick. Unlike leather, you know, leather kind of gets bulky and, and, and tacky a bit. Go ahead and get sweat on it, and then it's going to really stick to you. And, you know, it's it really, and people, some people like that. For me, I, I prefer the slim fit. You know, it's in and out. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on for you. This is my Lacoste custom tactical belt. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't print, really. Maybe a little bit of print going on, but... I'm just saving a little bunch up of a And usually I'm wearing shirt this here, shirt. I'm wearing a shirt tucked in. So I'll we'll definitely probably give you some chafing and stuff, but... Uh, but keep, that, a, keep that shirt tucked in and you'll be alright. Yeah, it's a solid solid holster, but yeah, it's Kydex. I'm, like I said, I don't know who makes it, but I think I paid... It couldn't have been more than 55, 60 bucks. Some kid I found on Instagram. So. Right, right. Speaking of Instagram, go follow me on Instagram at 762 and such, like the caliber. And we will definitely be up to date on most of that stuff. I mean, I'm sure I'm not really a techie guy. I'm going to try to turn into one. Um, Step your game to, up, I'm bro. I'm going to try to get me a Twitter and everything and get something going. Keep track of my builds, anything like that, mods, uh, gun teardowns. I know there's some stuff I've run into, uh, some pistols before that are fairly complicated to break down so uh, maybe I'll put some of those on there and I know when I was streaming YouTube I was trying to find out how to put this uh, Llama 380 back together but it's a Spanish gun and uh, it'll be in one of the later videos but uh, I was trying to put it back together looked at all the videos everybody's putting it together this one way and massive spring comes out of it about yay long and it bunches up and I found the easier way on my own to put it back together so just something that we can look forward to. Um, like I said, more gun reviews, teardowns, cleaning, anything like that. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna try have a go at this. We're gonna wing it, and we're gonna see what we can do with it. But uh, thanks, you guys. Let's uh, get something else set up here.